One of the core components of the massive material U overhaul added with Android 12 is that of dynamic color. And while it is a great differentiator, third party app repainter takes this customization a step further. And we've spent a little time with this app to work out if it's worth a look, if you want a little extra control over your smartphone theming setup. Thanks for watching 9to5 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. For anyone wondering what the hell we're talking about with Material U and Dynamic Color, well, these are the core customization setups in place within Android 12. And while it's fairly pretty for the most part, you're actually not able to deeply customize things such as font, icon shape, and the system color accenting to the same level as Android 11. And while Repainter from developer K-Dragon doesn't actually give you these options, with a third-party launcher like Launcher and Repainter plugged in that can take care of the color settings, you can properly customize your phone running Android 12 and go beyond the fairly basic out-of-the-box system settings. Sadly though, it's not as simple as just installing Repainter and then gaining the ability to choose colors and tune your Android 12 experience. And while it's not exactly difficult, there are a few hoops that you will have to jump through to get this excellent customization option working correctly on your phone. And also to note, Repainter should work with One UI 4.0, Zen UI on Asus devices, and there is partial support for Oxygen OS and MIUI also included, but you will need to tinker and with that to see if it works properly on your device. So by taking advantage of another tool called Shizuku and the ability to run ADB commands locally on your device without needing a PC connection, you can get these enhanced color theming options using Repainter. But there are some caveats here as the January 2021 security patch has broken some elements of the app, but with a rooted Android phone and or even a phone with an older update, you can access some enhanced tweaking and tuning that we think you will really enjoy. So using Shizuku and wireless ADB, you'll need to pair the app itself using what is a simple code process. Something to note here is that you might have issues using the allow all option when setting up wireless ADB from within developer options. If you do encounter problems, rebooting can remove any lingering issues, but you will need to reconnect your device again to the Shizuku service using wireless ADB each time your phone restarts, unless your phone is rooted. That said, it isn't too much of a problematic system that is used to pair your device. Even without a rooted smartphone though, the best thing about Repainter here is that you can access some improved theming, which you think you will like. And um, as we mentioned as well, you can use an older software build than the January 2021 patch. And this is gonna be the biggest draw for many people that might be frustrated at the distinct lack of customization provided or at least offered via the Pixel launcher on made by Google phones directly. So provided you have theming active and have done all the prerequisites, Repainter allows you to tune and customize the wider dynamic theme settings within Android 12. Whereas the standard solution just picks up to three colors or sometimes four colors directly from your wallpaper automatically, you have little control over how these hues are actually picked from your wallpaper choice. As we've mentioned several times already, Repainter allows you to more or less fully tune and tweak the colors across all areas of Android 12. And the stock method, this will just pick three hues from your wallpaper, making it quite limited. Repainter lets you even use a hex code color picker if you want precise tuning of the colors to suit your phone. And this opens up some extreme theme experimentation, but it does still retain the ability to have a separate non-related wallpaper setup for that proper custom look, even with a stock launcher. There is some transparency here too, as when using wallpaper based colors, you can actually see just what hues have been extracted from your on device background, something which Google doesn't necessarily make so clear. This also gives you more than just the bog standard three preset options that apps like the Pixel Launcher will offer you on a Google phone, for instance, something that is probably going to be worth the admission price alone, especially if you like to tweak and tune on the go. Places you'll instantly notice changes include the notification shade toggles, the lock screen clock, app accenting, and even widget color schemes. That's what you'll get when your phone is running the January 2021 update. Laid out in this format, it does sound quite limiting, but this simply expands upon one portion of the inbuilt Android 12 system theming options. Being able to set a custom secondary theme color also means that you can tailor the system accent into portions you probably wouldn't otherwise able to be adjust or change. We wouldn't recommend adjusting this too drastically though, as things can start to look a bit weird. If you want to really tune though, it is a cool option to have at your fingertips. Should you be running in an older update than the January patch or your phone is rooted as we mentioned, 
this is where Repainter becomes a really powerful theming option for your foam. You can get proper granular with the ability to adjust just how colourful the dynamic colour effect will be on your foam. You can do things such as tint the background of main app screens, settings and apps all to your heart's content, being able to adjust the brightness as well and the colour density means that you can dial up your theme quite dramatically here too or you can just remove that background tint entirely for a cleaner overall aesthetic. One major differentiation that might pique the interest of pixel owners out there in particular is the ability to use or at least set a pure black background when using the system dark theme. For starters, this is a great improvement over the dark grey colour used within the base Android 12 build. On top of that, it also has some potential battery benefits for devices with AMOLED screens as the pure black colour also reduces pixel illumination across your device and therefore could help reduce power consumption on your smartphone. It also helps that the black to grey switch in Android 12 has been one of the most derided design decisions and here is a solution that doesn't actually break your phone nor does it need a custom ROM to achieve. That said, many people out there will be wary of routing their smartphone for a better dark theme and we do not suggest that people stay on an outdated security patch just to get this feature. A huge and impressive component is the changing nature of Repainter's dynamic colour behaviour. Unlike what is a fairly static colour changing option within Material U as is, Repainter is even able to adjust to live wallpapers. This can pose problems, but a toggle within the actual system settings for the app ensures that battery usage isn't too high and your apps won't constantly crash by limiting real-time colour alterations. Tweaking the colour targets option also allows for the usage of colours that Android 12 wouldn't normally provide. Repainter is able to dial up the effect of Material U effectively. Google's implementation is quite muted and this boosted profile helps expand Repainter's effect and makes it more prominent across all facets of Android 12, something that really helps your themes pop more so than the sometimes muted pastel colours and hues of that stock implementation. In that sense, it's easy to think of Repainter as an enhanced version of Material U theming for your phone. And while the standard implementation of Material U is striking and it does help truly differentiate Google's Pixel line from the rest of the Android space, it's a little lacking in options right out of the gate. At $4.99, this app is not what we consider cheap. I personally balked at the asking price, but did bite the bullet anyway, as it did capture my attention. For pixel owners, rooted or otherwise, it's a no brainer, but the fact that One UI 4.0 and Zen UI is supported means that Samsung and Asus fans might also want to take a look here too. Throw a third party launcher on your phone, such as Launcher, right alongside Repainter, and your customization options do really start to grow exponentially. And while we wouldn't recommend that most people go out and root their phones, if you do want some added customization, something that Google has seemingly reduced within Android in recent years, Repainter is a lovely little extra tool that does help you make material you more or less truly yours. If you want to try this for yourself, you can download Repainter from the Google Play Store down in the description below. And the app itself is currently in early access and we're hoping for more compatibility for further Android builds in the coming months. We'd love to know what you think of it is the AMOLED black option enough to justify a download and especially the asking price? Let us know down in the comments sections below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.